flash. Are we filming? <laughs> which is going to have spinach, feta cheese, parmesan, a little bit of chili and some beautiful Burford eggs which you introduced me to the they're, other they're day. The best eggs to use. Really yeah. orangey orangey. Yeah. And what are you going to make? I'm making a detox kale salad which is very healthy obviously with kale, broccoli, peppers, carrots and uh, a lovely dressing to go with it and avocados. And that to me would be a perfect lunch or perfect dinner. It's my ideal kind of Okay, we love raw food. And um, we're going we're to, to roll. We're going to gossip while we cook. Right. Okay. So I'm going to put the grill on because mine's going to happen quite quickly. I need some butter. I'm going to get my lovely unsalted yes. French butter out and stick a load of that in the pan. I'm going to use my while I'm at it. Right. So large knob of butter. Sorry, I'm going to put my into the pan because I can't see. Well, I can't see, but sweetie, I'm not going to wear them. Yeah. Can I take your knife? Actually, I took your knife. <laughs> right, okay, so... Let's have some rolls in the kitchen, shall we? I'm going to make a... Fr Actually, I'm going to say, Annabelle, cheers. This is our first episode. Oh, cheers, cheers. sweetie. Cheers, darling. Chin, chin. Bottoms up. Love you. Mmm. That helps. And Dabby Daisy. Right. Get on. I am going to make a frittata probably for a bit eight people and the thing about this is that it's delicious at dinner lunch but then also cold for breakfast so in goes uh four five six seven eight are you going to make Stroke. it a little bit deeper this time yeah i've got 10 eggs this time you know, last time it was a little bit skinny. You need a bit of depth, don't you? Yeah, but I like more more spinach than eggs in it. Well, when you're preparing the kale, there's a lot of stalky bits. You must take the middle bit out. Otherwise, otherwise it becomes a bit stringy. Like you're chewing the cud like a cow. I like to keep very tidy. I'll put my little stalkies there. Right, now I do a very quick thing. I put my spinach in a microwave just to wilt it down just a little bit so it doesn't go dry straight into the pan. And I will probably just put that on for 30 seconds quite high. Now, why don't you start making the frittata? It's a good idea to get the grill on because I'm going to finish this frittata in the grill, which is what's going to make it puff up and look more like a a sort of souffle type rather than an omelette and it gives it that puffy bit at the end so I'm, I'm planning on getting this uh, okay, kale it's nice and thin ribbons so it's palatable um, right my feta cheese can go in and also just to give it a little bit of spice I am going to chop a chilli So I used to be an interior designer, but I've been an interior designer for 25 years. And I have recently decided to retire and do something really fun uh, that I enjoy doing, um, that I do every day, and with somebody I, I enjoy being with. My name is Susie. I've known a few years. No, we've known each other 10 years. We've known each other. We met each other in the gym. I'm from the north. Years ago. I'm a northerner. And I'm, I'm a Mediterranean. I'm Greek. I'm from born in Athens, but raised in London. Went to a good English boarding school in Kent. And um, anyway, I've decided to change change careers and enjoy the rest of my life cooking, eating, having fun, drinking, gossiping. Yeah. We've been up very early this morning, Katie and I, because we've had a Pilates uh, oh, I've power class. Look, this is, this is 
what you mustn't do. You know what the farm arm's going to be. I mean, let's start this off again, by the way. Burnt butter, disaster. Very difficult multiple stuff. That's the start of the fan sweeter. If you burn the butter, you have to start again. I have to admit, it's the first time I've ever, ever cooked in front of the camera. So, a little bit of trial and error here. I've been in domestic service for many years. <laughs> Bollocks. I have <laughs> done my apron up for quite a few years, but I'm back on it now. No, but you cook for your, for your family. Yeah, but my, my children's left home and nobody wants me anymore. I still cook for one of mine, who I hope might come and join us a bit later and do a bit of singing for us, because she's amazing. Um, so she's the only one I need to cook for at the moment. Actually, no, I've, I've got a very nice man as well that I love, who I have to cook for as well every now and again. But he's a fantastic cook too. So We're going to have a little session with him. Yeah, we're going to get him on the show. Basically, the carrots, you can do them so many ways. It's said great to them, but I just don't want to make too much water. Okay. So I'm just do doing them like this. Do, do not burn the Do we get everything manual? Easy. Yes. Smell it. I know, but it's it's good. Look, it's just not burning now. It's just coating the pan. It's going to make the bottom delicious. Before it's even fully melted, I'm going to throw in my eggs. And then I'm going to put the spinach, which is really, really wilted down nicely, and sprinkle that all along the top. quite a bit of waste in it. Nothing will go to waste because I hate wasting things. I want to give that a mix because I don't want all the spinach on the top. I want it quite eggy on the top. Okay, we have peppers now. I'm just going to uh, cut very finely. So my frittata is cooking it away and I'm going to cook the base on the heat and I'm going to cook the top under the grill. Yeah, that's so what I did. It's there's quite no a good reason idea, of flipping it? or doing anything like that. It's actually really easy once you've got it in the pan. I haven't even made my dressing yet. Uh, we're going oh. to use maple syrup, homemade mustard, lemon juice, walnuts, and the I brought some oil in the grape grapeseed oil. Yes, I've got it here. And ginger. Ginger, you want grated, some grated ginger. ginger, okay. I always think plenty. Plenty of ginger, lemon juice. Here, I've got lemons here. No, I've got a lemon. Where's the grater, honey? I can, I've got you know a grater. The, the, the little one. No, the big one. This one. No. Susie, the grater. You know, the big one that you showed me earlier. Which big one? This one here. The big one there. Okay. <laughs> there. Wait a minute. <laughs> the the manly one. What is the manly one? Oh, you fucking blink, Nora! <laughs> what the hell is that? That's this? it. But this the is a spanking mooly. machine. What's this, Susie? This is this new bloody moolie that I bought the other day. And look, my frittata is going to burn if we just try it. Right. And, um, Annabelle, mm -hmm. I actually don't know how to use it. You properly. have to practice with it. I mean, we could have used it today. So, in other words, I could have used this. This bit here for grating ginger. I mean, it's look. fantastic, yeah. But it just, you're right, it looks like a spanking machine. As you can gather, we're not professional cooks. We just actually love cooking. Um, and we love food. So, my potatoes are now going to have a little bit of parmesan on the top. Right, I won't interrupt you. Yeah. And then it's going to go under the grill. This broccoli is just slightly, it's, take about it's an five angle minutes. chopped. Right, here we go with this new gadget here. Should have really practiced. It's got to have um, it's got to I mean, mine, I use it all the time. No, it's dangerous. Be careful. I know, it's very, very sharp. And I'm frightened. I might actually lose the end of my fingernails. Right, I need a little pot to make the sauce in. Can I do it in here? Can I use that? Sure. So, in goes the ginger. Half a lemon or a whole lemon? I think it doesn't matter. Just... Okay, 
I'm going to make it into your dressing. I like, I'm going to put you a whole lemon. lemon or dressing. Annabelle's got a lemon squeezer, but I actually prefer doing it by hand. Okay, it's one. Okay, I'm just going to crush some um, walnuts. Crush walnuts. It's like it. Crush Crush. Pardon? Crush. 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 <laughs> crush. <laughs> So you put red seed oil and not olive oil. Well, that's why you could put that or avocado oil. I've got hazelnut oil. Have you put the mustard in? No, you shouldn't use your teeth to open things, but I've done it ever since I was a child. Mustard force of habit. I haven't put avocado. the mustard in. I have to say this. This sounds like the real thing that's going to make it that. It obviously looks a bit messy. Syrup looks wonderful. Uh, mustard, mustard, mustard. There's oh no, I knew that would happen. But look, look, guys, look how amazing that is looking. That is looking absolutely delicious. But it needs, I would say, about another 30 seconds of heat. Now, would you turn it out straight away? Or Can would you, you make a bit more dressing than that, darling? Yeah, because it's. Okay, got some more nuts. Oh my god, it's going to be amazing. It's going to be amazing. Come and have a look. And some sesame seeds, roasted sesame seeds. Oh. Oh my god, look at that. Oh, I love roasted sesame seeds. Look at that, okay, that is a delicious frittata, guys. I love that. Did you put some maple syrup in? I put some, I can put, just taste it. All right, I'm just gonna get another, I won't put it back in, but. Could you with a dash like a, a little bit. Sorry, it's quite a lot. I know you measure it. A bit of lemon juice, actually, darling. Do you want another lemon? Yeah, I think so. Half a lemon. Half a lemon. We're not gonna waste any of this. Okay, we'll make something we'll, we'll put it in a little bag and make make something else with it. Like vegetable okay, soup. You know what we could do is make a kind of gazpacho. You could make a carrot cake. Because I'm going to um, toss the sack in. Mm, that's delicious. That's absolutely delicious. It said you can do the dressing and fruit process it, but you know what? It doesn't matter. There's no rules to it. Everything. We're just going to pour that on. And you know, you don't have to measure everything. I'm actually going to use my hands. I have washed them. You can sort of slurp and taste and add a bit more. And you know, you know, you want to fill the bowl halfway to cover that amount of salad. Well, because I've made this quite a lot, you actually need a lot of dressing. But I think you know what? It's the ginger in there. And I'm not happy with that plate, sweetie. Need a little bit just of, a little bit. Um, a bit of coriander, and then I think just a tiny bit, of, just a tiny bit of chopped chili. Just I'm a sorry, you've got chips. my bag, but I just need some parsley. Okay. It's a very nice bag. Here we go. How about that? I'm just gonna put some sesame seeds on the top. Oh. Yum, 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 yum. Oh my god, that's just delicious. Cheers, my darling. Look, cheers. I nearly finished my chicken. Bit messy, but we've done okay, haven't we? Enjoy. I really hope you try these recipes because they are, honestly, they, they might look a bit sort of thrown together, but they are delicious. And just maybe make a bit more dressing, you know, um, for the salad because it needs that more. That side looks beautiful. Does the other side look? Look, that's the side that looks Obviously, really we pretty. haven't had much time because normally it's. Um, Anyway, these recipes prettier. are going to be on our Instagram page and um, please look forward to our next little idea episode. and episode. <laughs>